Hello, David Bradley from the box room here. Funny, I never realized how much these LEDs on these microphones show up. If I have, well, I like to have them on the lower part of the hat if I'm going to use them on the hat. Um, maybe that doesn't show up so much in the distance. And maybe if I have another light on me, it doesn't. But, ooh, cool. But, you know, as I was talking with Rudy of Rudy's Retro Intel, when he first was getting started, he was talking to somebody and he said, you know what, don't worry about the video and other stuff. I mean, yes, it's important and all, but really, you got to have good sound. And for a long time, I did not have any external microphone things. I did not. But I should have. But I did not know how to do all, you know, I mean, we make it up as we go along. So I would try and talk loud, but I don't do that very well. So eventually, as you know, I got one microphone. Now I have two. Why do I have two? Because Penny broke. There's a little, I guess, transmitter receiver thing that plugs into the bottom of the iPhone that then talks to the microphones. And if they're okay and if they're on, they project a little green light, as you can see on my face. So anyway, if you are going to record things, um, really, you know what? These things are not that expensive, and they're really, really good. And they do make them also for Android phones. And I'm sure they make them for other things. And they're rechargeable. And the actual thing doesn't need to be charged. And um, it really makes the sound a whole lot better. Like on um, TV and movie things, a lot of actors have these sort of things. I'm not sure if they're wireless or they're... Actually, oftentimes, from what I've seen, they're running wires on people. And, and certainly news people often end up with something like this. But it's probably got like a bitter, bigger, bigger like battery pack that sticks on their, um, on their belt or on something and goes to this to ensure that they have good power and good stuff and good transmission and all. But really, if you're recording stuff, even it, it doesn't matter if it's like for some grand thing. If it's for anything at all, if the sound isn't good, people won't watch. Like, I think last year at the World of Commodore, they were doing online stuff. And I don't know that there was any special microphone. And so I think most people who were tuning in from around the world thinking, boy, this will be great, were sadly disappointed by the sound. Anyway, sound is important. So... Get a microphone and of course what i just did as you if you've watched you've seen i did get a microphone just because i can have it in the corner and it looks like i have a microphone and why did i get this thing well because i think it was about five bucks and it looks kind of okay it probably works as a microphone but i don't know how and there may be an adapter for me to take the typical microphone plug and stick it into an adapter that would let me use it on the iPhone. But it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. I'm, I like these things. And sometimes I stick one on the on kind of underneath my beard, underneath my shirt. And I often now don't put two on my hat. Um, I usually put one over by the microphone, the fake microphone. And if I'm downstairs, I will often fasten, like if I'm doing stuff or I was doing stuff on disk drives, um, to add to the ambiance, I would put one of the microphones kind of on the front of the disc drive so you could hear the head moving and the banging and the thing spinning while I'm talking. Adds to the flavor. Anyway, one thing as I look up here, I realize, and I used to use this all the time, I have been forgetting to put on my on-air sign because I can see it and I can't reach it right now, but it's there. I'll see about that. Anyway, what am I doing now? Well, I've just tidied up these Amiga 4040s, and I'm about to take this downstairs. And this is a SpongeBob joystick, but it's not just a joystick. It's kind of like the thing that had a Commodore 64 in a joystick. If I turn it on, an LED comes on, and it has... Um, a long cord. Let's see if it's long enough. And 
Okay. Chords always get tangled. Always get tangled. Anyway, I'm going to take this downstairs. It has an audio and a video. And I'm going to try and put it into that and see if Andrew likes this vintage game. I think this came out maybe 20 years ago, so I'd never seen it. I found it in, yes, a thrift store, and I took a chance. Um, but I did say to them before I went, I said, look, you know what? Yeah, I see the light comes on, but I can't test this, because typically they say, well, it's an electronic, and you take it, and that's it. That's all. Anyway, I'm sure they would have resolved me somehow, probably with just a short credit if it didn't work. But it worked. So, but I haven't tried it on a big screen, so I'm going to try that. And, you know what I think I'll do, so I don't forget, because I often forget, I'll put this in my box of recyclables and things, and I will take it downstairs, so I can get rid of that stuff, and I will hook up SpongeBob. And carry on. Anyway. And I will ponder microphones and whether this is good or not with the green things on my face. The all I have to do to not have the green thing on my face is to take it off and flip it. And then it's up in the air, but I don't know if the sound suffers any being on the other side. Uh, the other side of the hat. I don't know. It's all pretty close. I would like to think it's, you know, pretty comfortable. I would like to think so. Anyway. So, I'm going to do videos of any sort, even for, even for your friends or your relatives. Or it, It's funny, you know, I wish I had, and I'm sure a lot of people say this, um, when my little old grandmother, and this was now many, many years ago, she lived almost to be 103, so this would have been in 2005. I wish I had the stuff at the time to set up sometimes and just record her. Not necessarily, you know, maybe telling stories from the past, or but just record us talking. And that is an actually a cool thing about having these two microphones. Because I was thinking, too, there was a documentary called Our Man in Tehran. And it was Ken Taylor. And typically, of course, they're asking questions, but we don't hear what they're asking because they edit all that out. We just hear what he's saying. But there was one time when the interviewer did say something. And, of course, it's way away from the microphone. You can't hardly hear it. And you can tell, yeah, okay, they weren't using a microphone. But with a thing like this, say I wanted to interview somebody. I could stick one microphone on them. I could stick one on me. So here are the questions. Here are the answers. Here are the questions. Here are the answers. Even if I was going to edit most of the questions out, still, if there was stuff I wanted to leave in, you can hear it. So that's why I thought, you know, these two microphones are probably a pretty good idea. Unfortunately, of course, they don't communicate with my other microphone that was victim of when Penny knocked over the phone and broke the little transmitter receiver thing. So I tucked it in a bag, and who knows, maybe someday I can do something with it. Maybe not. I don't know. You know what I mean. Anyway. That was easy. So, thanks for coming. Thanks for being here. We'll see you again soon in the box room, in the pet room. Maybe the basement. I just don't know. Ugh. I need to get going on the family portrait. But I have been finding more things that need to go in there. Not big things. Although there is a printer I would like to move in there. It's called an 8023P. And I have it. It's, it's just over from here. And it's an IEEE printer. It's for the pet. It's wider. Because, you know, computer paper... Um, you could get it in just the 8.5 by 11, which really meant, like, 9.5 by 11, because it had the tractor things. Or there was also, like, big, wide computer paper. <coughs> so this was a big, wide printer.
Now, does this printer work? I don't know. Because somebody cut the cord off, and I've always been meaning to put a cord on somehow and test it, but I haven't. But it is part of, oh, and yeah, now that I think of it, there's another pet printer. That, oh, it's a heavy beast of a thing. You know what? I really don't like printers. I mean, I like the fact that they print and all that stuff, but I've never been an avid printer collector. And if somebody says, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll throw in the, you know, it's this much, and you get the printer, and you get, I, I'm more tempted to say, how, how, how much is it without the printer? <sighs> Anyway, we shall see. So I'm getting there on the family portrait. It's good to go through some of this other stuff because there's other little things <coughs> that I could look back on and say, oh yeah, I should have put that in. And of course, if you've been watching, you know that Hagrid fell, but Hagrid has been saved. So it's all good. I'm thinking with the family portrait, what I'm going to do is do various versions of it but once i get it done with just the pet stuff then i think i will start to do some more decorating with some more of the commodore boxes i think because there are some of the commodore boxes i'm looking up i see one for 1802 but i don't think that'll end up in there but some of the box well this here click oh there you go. i i can't see it here there, you go. there. that's a sleeve and it's a box and it's got a commodore 64 in there now most of the boxes if i use them would be empty but i have an assortment of them and sometimes it's just the styrofoam with the sleeve sometimes it's the box um whatever anyway because i know it's i mean it, it is for the pet and there is actually down in there but i don't really know where to put it so i just put it on the mantle and it really doesn't play well there is an original box from an original pet and it has its original packing stuff inside and but it is what it is it is where it is and i'll try to make sure that the logo can be seen but it's really not pretty where some of these are kind of pretty they are anyway right time to go downstairs and hook up spongebob thanks for being here have a lovely day have a lovely weekend have a lovely week month etc 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 bye for now